Hello world, we are nearing the end here of all the cleanup and getting your computer running as fast as it ought to be running, maybe even faster than when you first got it. Now, we're going to move into episode 6 here and we're going to talk about Super Anti-Spyware. Super Anti-Spyware is a decent product, it's not a fantastic product, but like I said, I do like to diversify our scanning for spyware. So we're going to run through this real quick because I actually had a few comments saying that these videos are taking too long. So at my website, PCMichiana.com, go ahead and scroll down to free maintenance software and uh, click super anti-spyware. Tricky thing about this software is it likes to add itself to your startup as soon as you've installed it. Of course, click download now. And <clears throat> when it adds itself to your startup, it likes basically when you boot up your computer every time, it likes to run in real time in the background. We're going to disable that feature. That feature, no fun. All it does is slow down your computer, and like like I said, you're going to run your maintenance maybe once a month, and just run spy, spy super anti spyware along with that once a month. So once this is uh, once this gets started downloading, we're going to shoot straight through this installation. We're going to get this done as fast as possible. Um, while this is loading, essentially what we've done so far is we first fixed your Windows boot up. Uh, your startup, we've changed your modified your startup, that was in episode one. And in episode two, we removed any kind of Norton or whatever antivirus you had running, and we installed AVG Free. And in episode three, we actually ran through how to run AVG Free without using up too many resources or too much of your time. In episode four, we actually ran, let's see, what did we run in episode four? I do believe we ran... Um, malware bytes, anti-malware, and in episode 5 we ran SpyBot. Now we're going to run Super Anti-Spyware. This is the last of the spywares I'm going to have you guys run. And then we're going to move into uh, Advanced System Care, which is going to bring it all together. At the end of this, I'm going to do a summary video probably that will uh, go over everything real quick. Um, the reason I broke this down into this many videos is because I do like to explain to people how to install it and what to install, uh, what procedure to take, and you know what I mean. It's meant for people who aren't geeks like I am. And if you know how to do all this stuff already, you're a geek. I'm sorry to break it to you. Okay, so now I just click Next. I accept the agreement. Next. Uh, use whatever user and organization you want. Next. 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 And it's going to install. Notice it didn't let me choose to start it on startup there. I literally have to change that later after it is installed. So let me go ahead and close this. Let this finish installing here real quick. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of videos on there that are trying to tell people, well, we'll speed up your computer in 30 seconds, speed up your computer in one click. It just doesn't really work that way. I mean, you can speed it up a little bit in 30 seconds, but really, if you want to have your computer running as fast as it possibly can go and you want very few conflicts and very few issues, you're going to have to run through a step-by-step -step procedure of removing all the junk out of it getting the proper antivirus, making sure all this junk is running in the background while you're doing other things. It's going to fix a lot of problems that you might already be having. So it really, don't go for those quick help, quick tips. They never work. It's just like the 10 second diet, you know what I mean? Or the lose 400 pounds in five days. It just, you know, it sounds good on the cover, but it just, it just really doesn't work that way. I encourage you to step through each one of these tutorials, take your time, learn how to do it, and then impress all your buddies with it because that's what it will do. Okay, so after it's installed, I just click finish, and it's going to start on its own. We're going to run through this basically like all the other spy anti-spywares. They work the same way. Just do your updates, and then, of course, run a in-depth scan or a smart scan. Um, let me go ahead and click OK here. And notice the little bug in the bottom right-hand corner opens. It's asked if I want to check for updates. Yes, I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, if you guys haven't visited my channel yet, on YouTube I have the channel set up so that it organizes all these videos in order to visit my channel. If you're on YouTube, you can just click PC Michiana, my actual username in the upper right hand corner to load the channel. And it'll actually load right up front the Hello World series, and it'll list all the episodes from one to however many I'm going to list. I'm going to organize all of my videos that way, because when I move on to a different series, this is more for just basic users, just learning how to maintain their computers. When I move into more advanced series, you know, whether it be web design or I haven't fully decided what we're going to do, maybe more advanced Windows settings, I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do yet. 
But when I do that, I'm going to sort them that way, like it's a playlist. So you can just, you know, go through each episode one at a time. And they are meant to be viewed in series. So I might reference things in a previous video on this one, and I, you know, might not. So I encourage you guys to go through them at least one at a time. If you're pretty smart and savvy, just, you know, graze over them. That's the nice thing about YouTube is you can just skip parts, skip parts, skip parts, and, you know, start the video halfway through the video and, uh, you know, just, just view the highlights. Also on my website, I do have highlights when you go to uh, PC Michiana. Under the video, it says important points to know from this video. If you already know them, just skip over that video. Some of you might not need to know how to use uh, Super Anti-Spy, or some of you might. Some of you guys may have noticed I just did a little bit of a time travel here. It's already 4.38. <laughs> Turns out that uh, my processor does not like running Super Anti-Spyware and this video capturing software at the same time. So let me go ahead and start where I left off, which was pretty much magically, you know, invisible to you. I don't even know why I mentioned it. Okay, so basically, uh, the first thing you'll normally do is you'll go for check for updates, and then you're gonna run through your checking for updates here, and you know, it'll tell you it's up to date already since you did your updates. Um, now, uh, then you go to scan your computer, and Quick Scan does a scan much like the other scans on uh, malware bytes, anti malware, smart scan, uh, spy bots searching for known uh, spyware that already exists. The complete scan, of course, is more thorough, but it'll take more time. Select the C drive, uh, click next, and then run through however, you know, run it through whatever drives you need to, or if you want to do a custom and select whatever files, go ahead and do it that way. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back, and now I'm going to show you how to disable it from your Windows startup. When you go to preferences, it's going to show these three already checked. And notice that it it just goes ahead and takes the liberty of putting itself on your Windows startup. I hate software that does that. Uh, Norton and McAfee are two of them that do that. So go ahead and disable disable these top three. Uh, over here, this is already set to default to not scan when you first start up the software or anything. And uh, that's all That's all good. So just go ahead and leave these settings right here where they're at. On scanning control, leave it right where the default is. Real-time protection, do not enable. That's another thing that will bog down your machine. Hijack protection, leave all that enabled. Statistics and logs, such as the history. Repairs, um, uh, well, uh, I, I, I've actually had a lot of experience using this. Uh, it's probably worth a try uh, just to see if it can repair anything in your start menu or your task manager. I haven't had to do this a lot because I use registry cleaner and everything. But we're going to use advanced system care next, which we'll talk about that. And updates. This is for automatic updates. Don't worry about that. So, again, that's pretty much all you need to know about Super Anti Spyware. If you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment on the video. And uh, don't forget to swing by my channel and check out the other videos because uh, you guys are going to learn a lot from this. I'm moving forward to Advanced System Care next video, which, let me tell you, it's going to bring it all together. It's going to be great. Uh, it's going to clean out 90% of everything you have going on with your computer. Super Anti-Spyware is like the only cleaning software. I, I'm sorry, not Super Anti-Spyware. Advanced System Care is like the only maintenance software I've actually recommended people purchase because the purchase version is that much better. Okay, I hope you all had a good time and I hope you learned something. And again, if you have questions, just let me know.